I got scammed out of $45 because of a Amazon wig seller and I want to tell my story. But before I tell it, I want to let you know anything that I say after this intro right here, remember, I could have stopped this. I could have blocked them first. I could have not had spent my $45 with these people on PayPal. Amazon sellers have been wanting people to review things on Amazon for years now, obviously because they want their company to get known. They want the reviews. They want five stars, all this type of stuff. So I'm not new to doing Amazon wigs, Amazon products. Like I'm not new to reviewing it right I have several companies that I've worked with across my social medias that you guys have seen me do things for right right so with that being said normally this is how these transactions would go you tell these people your rate they say okay well I'll give you the money for the wig plus your commission that you're asking for then I will have you go place the order on Amazon you place the order so that Amazon knows this is a legit person purchasing legit items off of their website and then you get the hair you get the product and then you review it you know on Amazon and obviously that's content so of course you're going to film yourself doing all of these things right because that just goes along with being a content creator so I've been doing this for years I'm not new to this but getting scammed honey that was the first time that ever happened to me so here we are sometime late September this company hit me up basically asking me did I want to do this review for them I kind of sort of agreed and I told them to hit me back up they hit me back up October 31st and we started having the conversation going back and forth with them asking me like what hair did I want to use they sent me a link to I want to say Nadula hair on on Amazon and this is actually a bigger scam within itself because when you go and search Nadula hair on Instagram there's so many like so many pages that Nadula hair is on but not to mention there's so many people that also uses the name Nadula so I'm going through the motions I'm going through the motions of looking up this company and I'm like okay well I guess this is real they tag Nadula in their in their bio on Instagram and everything so I'm like okay this has to be legit right because I never had no problems before. So here we are, October 31st came, I'm picking the wig and I'm like, okay, I have to send you a $45 shipping fee. But I was like, on Amazon, if I just purchased it on Amazon, you know, I don't have to pay a shipping fee. You could just send me back my money if that's what we're going to be doing here, plus my commission. So, in the midst of the process of we talking about the, the refund and all that stuff, they said they're gonna send me Forty-five. Well, I have to send them forty-five dollars for their shipping fee because it's coming from their manufacturer. I'm like, okay, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Then they were like, <laughs> we're also going to send you a hundred dollars once you do the review. You post about it, da, da da da. And I said, okay, I can agree to that. I think that's pretty much fair because out of it, all in all, I will be receiving receiving like a hundred and something dollars from this company. I can do that. I'm okay with that. So as the conversations is going, October 31st came, me and them are talking about all that. And I said, okay, well hit me up in the morning because I can make the purchase then. That's cool with me. All right, whatever. October, October 31st came and went. November 1st came. They hit me up right early in the morning and they was ready. So I'm talking to them and I'm letting them know, hey, I just need your information. They showed me how to send it. Now on PayPal, this is something on PayPal that they really do need to fix because even, even if you send something through family and friends, it still could be a fucking scam, but whatever. So here I am. I send these people $45. They're, they send me a shipping order after, well, shipping number after I ask a couple of times, can I get a order confirmation and a shipping some something to confirm that I actually just paid for a freaking wig right so I literally go on there and they send me some bogus ass number some just random digits mind you they literally unsent all of their messages and they blocked me besides one message of them saying wait so I'm like what the fuck so <laughs> here we are right I get the shipping information and then later on that day they kept messaging me and they kept asking me to send an additional $22 because that could put place the price of another wig I can order another wig then they're letting me know oh the seller said you have to make another purchase of another wig because it's a deal for two that was never said to me before I sent these people my $45 so I'm like that doesn't make sense this doesn't make sense I've already sent you $45 half of 45 is not 22 so why the fuck would I send you additional money it did not make sense so with that not making sense to me, I'm telling them this. Like, it's not making sense. That doesn't make sense. This is not clear information that you're telling me, right? 
So these people are like, okay, well, if, if in the next 24 hours you haven't received your wig, we'll send your money back. I'm like, okay, they're still messaging me. Well, the company now is wanting $22. You have to send $22 as well because you have to get another wig. I've already sent you 45. What do I look like sending you an additional $22 or already with my $45? If it's half of 45, why not just go ahead and send me the other wig? That doesn't make any fucking sense. So they're like, we're going to send you the 45 plus the $22 plus the $100. So you're going to get way more money. And I'm like, this does, it still doesn't make sense to me. So this is like Thursday at this point. Me and these people are going back and forth because I think November 1st was on a Wednesday. So on Thursday, that Thursday, me and my husband are out. We went to go get um, to the salon. He got his beard shaped up. I got my eyebrows waxed. We go over to Walmart. These people are still pressing me to send more money, more money, more money. Halfway through me and my husband being at the store, I'm consistently texting these people. And I keep stopping, pausing. I can't focus on grocery shopping because I'm literally like, why the fuck are these people consistently asking me for more money? So I'm getting frustrated, right? And I'm like sending the messages. Can you please send me my money back i just want my money back i no longer want to do this wig deal with you they're like oh no honey we can't send it back if we send it back it'll be 22.50 they just kept saying the only thing we can't send back is 22 dollars and 50 cents and i'm like no i want all of my money just like you wanted all of my money i want all of my money so we're discussing back and forth back and forth at this point it's in the middle of the night like i'm still <laughs> texting these people back and forth that's when it really dawned on me that I was getting scammed by this company. And I'm like, bitch, this would never happen again. I could tell you that it would never happen again. By this point, I have to tell my husband, like, I just got scammed out of $45, really $48 because of the PayPal $3 fee. I literally just got scammed out of $50. Like, <laughs> so I'm telling my husband about it. He's like, you know, if you already put the dispute in with the bank, because by this point, I go to PayPal and make a, re a report and I explain to PayPal what happened. And as soon as it clears with my bank, I'm also going to make a dispute with my bank to let my bank know. Like these people said they were gonna send me something from the distri distribution center. They have now since blocked me, has ceased all communication with me. And now they're asking me to send them additional money. That is when you know it's a scam. So let me tell you how I how I've worked with other companies before that's from Amazon they'll send you the money to go and purchase the product now a lot of companies only want you to do the review so they don't want to send you your commission right they just want that Amazon review normally if they want you to put in more work like Instagram real maybe go on your YouTube channel do all that extra work they'll be okay with sending you you know a rate for the rest of the review right okay cool and then you get it, you sit, you go on Amazon, you go purchase the, the item that they're asking for, right? So the, so that Amazon can know this is a legit purchase from a legit customer and all that stuff. So that's normally how this goes. You get the product, you review a product and you use the product, obviously. So you do the review and then you make the review on Amazon. So that's normally how it goes. And normally the company do send you your money back. So, you know, there's that. So you'll get your commission plus you'll get the money back from, from the product two so that's normally how it goes there's never a point where you're having to spend money to do these reviews for these companies right so with that being said that's normally how these transactions work when i kept asking this company is this like a legit number like is this a legit um number for your shipping order like because i can't find it then they was like yeah this is real this is real this is real it's going through usps bitch no it's not like why are you lying like you literally have given me a fake confirmation order number you've given me a fake um product number like all these all these numbers that you're giving me are fake right so I goes on there and I come back to the messages and I'm realizing all their messages have been deleted besides one message of them saying wait to me. So I'm like not not only you unsent all your messages, you literally blocked me because I said I sent them a message and said I am feeling this I'm feeling as though that this is like a very unprofessional situation between the two of us and I'm wanting my money back. I'm not wanting to have to put in a dispute in with my bank, but I will perfectly do that just fine because I feel like I'm being scammed. Like that's basically what my message said. So shortly after that message, a couple of my messages went through, but then I realized a bitch was blocked and I was like no the freak they did not just block me so now we're here present day <laughs> it's November 5th it's been about almost a week and I am waiting for my purchase to clear with my bank so that I can call them and do my dispute because 
I've never been scammed before. I've never been scammed. And this is some new shit to me. But like I said, I'm gonna call my bank, let them know like, hey, this person blocked me on Instagram. They've blocked me on social media. I am probably not gonna say Instagram, but they blocked me on social media. I have no way of uh, contacting them with them. They didn't actually send me a product. They sent me a, a fake um, order number and all this stuff. My bank will know this information. PayPal also knows this information because I did put a dispute in with PayPal, but it's just like, if you are out here doing reviews, please be vigilant. And remember that these companies, a lot of these smaller companies will just send you products. So have a PO box so that there's not things coming to your house. I think in the next uh, couple of months or next month or so, I will be getting me a PO box for the year so that I just don't have to worry about companies having my address because clearly that was a fucking scammer that now has my address. That is my story for the day. Um, honey, a lesson well learned. I can say that. And then the crazy part is like, I still do have Amazon companies hitting me up in my DMs because it's like a normal occurrence. They see my videos. Like it's normal for me to get companies hitting me up. Like it's so normal. So I'm not going to be like, oh, every company on Amazon is a scam. All of them are scammers because they're not, you know, there's just a few people who are out there just actual pieces of fucking shit. And people like me have to expose them. So I'm posting their thing, um, their page so y'all can find them, block them. So if you do do Amazon reviews, you do do wig reviews, you can go ahead and block them before they get to you. But that's just from that specific account. I don't know if they got any other accounts that they're running after. So thank you so much for watching and let this be a lesson to you no i don't feel dumb i don't feel stupid because i knew it was a scam going into it but like i said i'd rather it be me than my friend who was almost scammed by these people so it is what it is i got a good bank my bank ain't never not giving me back my money when i did a dispute before so i'm not worried about that at all like at all so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in another one